We have Mr. Bill Lee with us here today, and uh, Bill is the Vice President of the Red Rock Balloon Rally. He's also the General Manager of Red Rock Park and a balloon pilot himself. So I want to thank you for taking your time out of all of those things that you're doing to uh, visit with us today. Well, it's good to be here. Well, thank you. Um, I wanted to start off by asking you, uh, how, how did you get involved with ballooning and the Red Rock Balloon Rally? Um, a number of years ago, uh, when I was much younger and uh, far less wise, I took my first balloon ride. And from that moment on, I was hooked. Um, I was fortunate enough to fly with uh, one of the founding members of the Red Rock Balloon Rally, Peter Procopio. And uh, at that time, I think I was, oh, in my late teens, 19 or 20, somewhere around there, took a balloon ride and knew from that moment on that that's what I wanted to do. The Red Rock Balloon Rally Association has the Kasari, the balloon, the white balloon on the on the left, or my left, and the Nijoni balloon, which is slowly disappearing behind the horizon, Galp's newest and oldest balloons. You told me you were driving Cal through the canyon. You saw the balloons uh, landing or getting uh, getting ready to go up. They are just getting inflated, just getting started, early, yes. early in the morning. And that's how you got hooked into it. Yep. And it's been a delight ever since. So What is the job of a launch director? Uh, a couple of our main concerns is safety being number one, and just help the pilots out, an extra eye for the pilots to see that things are going along fine. With a rally of any size, just to keep it organized and keep them launching in, a, in an orderly manner. So what we're waiting for now is to see which way the balloons are going to land, and then we're going to take the trucks to them? Yeah, and we'll just follow them, stay close to them as possible. When you're landing, you have three criteria that you consider. The first one is, can I land the balloon? And the balloon is safe and the people are safe. That's the first criteria. The second one is, can I land the balloon? And the people are safe, the balloon is safe, and the chase crew can get to me. And the third one is, um, can I land the balloon? The balloon is safe, the people are safe, the chase crew can get to me, and is it convenient? <laughs> so convenience is the last one on the list, but you know it is a criteria that we try to consider when we land. We're an invitation-only balloon rally. We're the second largest balloon rally on the planet Earth. And uh, the uh, Albuquerque has a box, but we have a box that rocks. And here we got a box we do in the Red Rock area, and they can fly within the proximity of the rocks, and they play in the rocks back and forth, and uh, that's something that uh, no one can beat. Also, in our area right there, that's uh, they can fly longer in the box than they can over in Albuquerque because it gets a little hotter over there because of all the asphalt. Uh, why is it by invitation only here? Because we only have a limited amount of space, and uh, we prefer to have the best in the world come to see us. Look 
pit for it on top. Piece of balloon, I mean cake. Hi, I'm Frank Sanchez. I'm Tom Hartsock. And I'm Patrick Moore. And this is the Gallup News and Sports Review. You know, today's mass ascension out at Red Rock Park was nothing short of spectacular. Uh, today's, today's our starting day, so uh, J5, you're going to be on the north field, okay? But it really doesn't matter today where you launch off because there's not going to be that. This kind of work, it's okay. Off of that. There is where the, the lift goes over that. Good morning, I'm Frank Sanchez with Bigfoot Productions and I'm here at the 25th annual Red Rock Balloon Rally on Sunday morning. As you can see, the balloons are finally getting a chance to get inflated and get up into the air. This is the Dawn Patrol and they're telling us they're in for quite a treat this year. The wind's going to blow them right back up into the canyons where they love to play.